Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. You got somebody just in that Aretha Franklin energy. Until you come back to me, this is what I'm going to do. They're going to do spell work. They're going to stalk you. They're outside your window. I don't know what's going on. But you got somebody is not letting up. All right, let's see what's going on. What we're going to see is we're going to pull cards for you know how maybe family and friends feel about you this love partner or an ex or whatever it may be for you and then we're going to also see what your money looks like all right let's see how does aquarius family feel about them they feel like you're hot and cold honey they can't figure you out you're in and out you may come to family functions you're there for a minute and you're gone i don't know they may even figure that you figured something out therefore your energy has shifted with the family. All right, let's see. You may be trying to keep something private. How does the family, how does Aquarius family feel about Aquarius? Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. How does Aquarius family feel about Aquarius? Yeah, so this family feels like um, you could be shutting down. You know, um, you've got some secret or something some knowledge about what's going on and what was going on and what was said about you. Um, they may even be gossiping about you. You know, uh, they feel like you're in and out. Maybe you got some situation going on with yourself. You don't want to let them know. They may be in the energy of take me back already, G. So your family can feel that you are kind of just not with it. You're not having it. You know, you're not letting anything interject interject or um interrupt maybe your good vibration your positive vibrations it's like this family member or family members can feel like they feel like you kind of set yourself apart for whatever reason it's almost as if they know but they don't want to face the fact that they know because it has something to do with what they've done what they said how they treat you how they treated you in the past in the present uh what else how does this family Feel about how does family feel about Aquarius? Um, they feel like, yeah, you transform your heart, you, you're transforming your life. Wow, it's like you're manifesting from your heart chakra, so they feel like you're able to manifest, bring in whatever it is you want to bring in. Um, they feel like you need some sexual healing, maybe you're all to yourself a lot. Uh, again, they're not taking responsibility for you being hurt, and maybe that's why you're, you're you got distance up. They feel like if you decide to stay, it's on you. This is, this is a group of people or one family member who's saying, I'm not changing. It is what it is. I'm, I am how I am. You accept me for who I am. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. And if you decide to stay in my life, you decide to stay. If not, it is what it is. I can talk about you from, a, from you know, the privacy of my own home. Yeah, okay. So they feel like you're in it. You're off and on, hot and cold. It's like maybe you're you're in and out. You bounce in and out. You you just your word. They feel like your word. If you say something, you're gonna do something. They can't really trust it. I don't know. It feels like maybe the respect factor has gone. They also feel like religious differences separate you guys. Okay, so maybe something that you do on a daily basis, a regimen, routine. It just separates you guys. Maybe you work out all the time and you eat healthy or you do this or you do that or I don't know. Or maybe you don't. You don't eat healthy. You don't work out. Maybe they do. It's something that you and the other person do religiously that separates you guys, divides you. So that's how your family feels about you. Let's see. Or friends, okay? Family, friends. That's how they feel about you. If you decide to stay in this friend group, this is how it's going to be. This is how we're going to treat you. I'm not changing. Yeah, I do want to be like you. I'm jealous of you. Doesn't care. I don't care, you know, you stay or you don't stay. Um, yeah, somebody feels like you just completely transformed yourself. They can feel like you're running away, the family members. Um, all right, so let's see how this love partner feels about you. How does this love partner feel about you? Let's see. Oh, that came out again. Religious differences separate us. So they feel like, again, um, they're different from you. You're different from them. It's just like you guys are trying to make a relationship out of maybe being complete opposites. It just didn't work. They feel like loving you is like an addiction. This is how this person feels. 
so you may have taken your your love, your devotion away from them, and now they're feeling the void. It's like when a drug addict gets off of drugs, you know, that first night or those, that first week or whatever, they, f you know, they feel it heavily. Um, they may even go through withdrawals. So somebody is going through withdrawals without you. They, they want to tell you that I'm not going to stop cheating. So somebody that you're dealing with, they're not going to stop ch uh, cheating. This came out in reverse. I'm aware of all the shit I've done. Please forgive me. So it's like they aren't aware of the stuff that they've done and they don't, they're not asking for forgiveness, but they do um, have a real strong connection to you. You're an addiction. It's like something about codependency. They need you in their life to feed their big ego. And you may feel like at one point you felt like you needed somebody to, you know, give all of your high vibrational goodness positivity to. Um, yeah, this came in reverse. You should probably run away from me. So they don't want you to leave, but you they know that you should because they're not offering you anything. And maybe you even know it. What else does this love partner or ex or whomever, they love the time that you guys spend together. They masturbate to the thought of you. I don't know. You doing something. So they may even be trying to ma um, manifest you through masturbation. Okay. Um, their money could be kind of messed up. Again, you may have been a good luck charm. You just brought a lot of positivity into their life. And they were able to manifest so much, so much goodness, greatness with you in their life. You're gone now. They're filling the void. Okay. Um, that's what they're trying so heavily to get you back. Uh, let's see what your money is like. What is Aquarius money like? Um, I had an emotional void in my life, but you filled it with your love. Okay, so now some of you, uh, I, I feel like you are doing more work on yourself, doing more work to bring in the life that you want to bring in. Okay, um, your money could be so good that you, the cards are saying you should buy that item, self-care. It's something that you've been looking at, you've been wanting said so you should go ahead and spend money on it okay um some of you were giving all of your power and emotion away to somebody and therefore it was messing with your money it was messing up your money it was stagnating your money flow um you wasn't you weren't giving enough um emotional connection uh energy to maybe your money making possibility capability Somebody may be saying you have too many kids. So your somebody's kids might have been in the way, yours or theirs. Um, your kids could have been kind of like taking money from you or always having their hands out. Yeah, you have expanded your mind, Aquarius, in terms of uh, perspective. Expanded your mind. And now you're accepting different perspective. Your crown chakra. It's like you're understanding something about yourself. Understanding how to manifest more. Understanding work understanding you know law of conservation i don't know you're understanding a lot now to the point where um manifestation is becoming easy to you it's not just a word it's just not like a name it or claim it type situation you understand now you now you want zero attachments okay because you feel like if you get have zero attachments um uh, you can uh manifest more you can manifest rapidly um your heart isn't divided for this past loved one, for the family who cares less about you or who isn't willing to change. It's like you understand that your heart needs to be um, to manifest. It needs to be a light as a feather. You don't have any attachments, uh, unforgiveness, none of that in your heart. Uh, let's see what else for money for Aquarius. One more card for money for Aquarius. Release your negative thoughts. Crown chakra again. So the crown chakra. I want you guys to go look up crown chakra, what meditation you can do, uh, how you can bring in better crown chakra energy or, or restore, clear your crown chakra, uh, release the negative thoughts, Aquarius. Nothing is happening to you. Nothing negative is happening to you. Only positive things. Only think of positive things. If you think of a negative thing, replace it with five positive things. All right, let's see. Um, one, they said one more card. All right, one more card for money uh, in, in terms of Aquarius. One more card for money. Um, so this came in reverse. I fight the feelings I have for you. I will not let love in. So it's like some of you were fighting the thoughts and the feelings that you were having surrounding abundance and living a, an abundant life. And now you're, you're coming out of that. You understand that abundance is your birthright. You understand that you were made for abundance. You're no longer fighting the fact that <clears throat> you like nice things, that you should have nice things, that you should live a life of luxury, especially when you have gone through the fire, when you've been tested, tried and true. Okay. 
Uh, I can't make it up in regards to this. Uh, they they want to give you. They gave me these. These came out too. Maybe it's love partner or past love. Your your love feeds my big ego. So we talked about that. This person's a big ego. They want your love back because it helped them manifest. And again, sex magic is what they perform on you. This is what they perform to bring you back. Also, they may be even saying to you that, oh, I want to be financially stable before I commit, but they're not working on their finances. So what does that mean? They're wasting your time. And there's also, they know that they're wasting your time. They make these empty promises or they say these blanket statements, but they mean nothing. Um, let's see what else is going on for Aquarius here. How does a family, friends, family and friends feel about Aquarius? How does a family feel about Aquarius? Okay, one more shuffle. How does Aquarius family feel about Aquarius? How does the family? Okay, the Ace of Wands, they see you changing your life, manifesting, uh, vibrant. Uh, an entrepreneur, a mover and a shaker up for the challenge, getting things done. Yeah, they keep, I can't make it up. Seven of Swords, they see you as just sneaking in and out, you know, keeping things to yourself, being secretive, being the lone wolf. You don't want to be involved in anything that is going to disrupt this energy, the Ace of Wands energy. You don't want to be completely involved with people who don't have your best interests at heart. Your friends also can feel like you're keeping things from them. You let them know when it manifests, when you have it. You let them see it. You don't tell them the beginning uh, to the middle to the end. Now you let them see the end result. And you're doing family like that too. Um, let's see. How does the family and friends feel about Aquarius? Why do they feel like you're in your element, the star card? They look up to you also. They feel like there's a lot of positivity, radiance with you. Looks like almost a sunflower coming out of that water jug. So they can see you that you're in the sun, that you're attracted to the sun, that you're like the sun, okay? You're radiant. You're positive. You bring nothing but positivity and radiance to every situation, to every friend group, to large groups of people. You could do something over the internet. They look at you and your social media or whatever you do over the world wide web. They look up to you. They look um, forward to whatever you put out or what you produce. They see that some big wish fulfillment dreams are happening in your life. Uh, they see that you have a forgiving heart also. They see that you're healed or you have healed or you healed your financial uh, sector like maybe you weren't doing good at one time you just you healed it all they see that you have a lot to offer the world they, they see that you're set a, apart or that maybe you're a loner um, but it's by choice you come down when you want to but you're up in the sky most of the times they feel like you're outer worldly you're extra you're an extraterrestrial they feel like you're you they can't put their finger on it they feel like you do your own thing you're dynamic um, wow they just feel like you know, so much uh, positivity with you. I don't think they've ever told you this. One more card for how friends and family feel about the Aquarius. The Seven of Swords, yeah, they, I mean the Seven of Wands. So it's seven, seven. So 77 could be significant for you. You could be seeing 77 or 777. Um, so they feel like you've mastered something. You've mastered putting up boundaries. You know how to manifest. You don't tell people uh, all of your business because you know that people in your life have come against your plans, your wishes, your dreams. Um, so it seems as if they may even view you as having a lot of suitors. Okay. A lot of people who are after you, who want your attention. They may even see you as once again, putting up boundaries, being proactive. Um, they see you as not allowing any destructive influence into your life. Um, that you will, you know, close that door. You will fight these people off. You will win. They see you as winning. And now a lot of people are coming after you or wanting time with you, or wanting to be on your side, or they're jumping ship. They used to talk about you. They used to talk about how you weren't going to be anything, how you this, that, and now they want to be with you. So they see you, once again, fighting off of people who are coming with their wands, trying to take or be a part of. Um, the Seven of Wands, they also see you as a warding off of like attention or someone trying to get your attention. They may even see you war like protecting yourself, maybe even your home. They may even see you protecting your personal identification numbers, uh, sensitive information, uh, being proactive about your sensitive information. Then once again, they just see you as completely private. You've mastered something. Um, you got something for that trickery that is coming your way. Um, they just see you as in a, in a different energy. You're not, you're not having it. And um, they see you as having like a wall up, you know, a boundary. Um, 
let's see how this uh, ex or a current person or whomever you're coming to the reading for. Let's see how they feel about you. Um, so Ten of Cups, you're their happiness. They want to call a truce. So if you want to call a truce, that, that means they feel like you're, you're, you two are at odds or, or a fight or at war. So they feel like, you know, love is war or that this is a game. Um, so they want to call a truce. They want you to come back home is what I heard. Or they want you to allow them back into your life. Um, they want to have a fortunate making up, makeup session. Uh, Mitre Cups also, after this difficult period between the two of you, they want to invite you out. Make you fall in love with them again. They want to be romantic. Keep in mind, this person still has on armor, like the, you know, gear to go to battle, to war. So this person hasn't really let it go or let the fight go. Um, this person could be immature. They feel like, once again, love is a fight. You know, it's about win, lose, draw. And they don't want to lose or they feel like they want to concede or call a truce or throw in the white flag or weigh the white flag. They, uh, this is a person, this is a knight too. They're not settled. Okay. They could be getting some type of direction to come to towards you. The knights are under the, the direction of the hierophant. So um, I don't know what guidance they're under, but they could be under some type of guidance to come towards you. It could be even that somebody's sending them towards you. You know, all guidance isn't from above. I don't know. Um, the Knight of Cups here, uh, again, they want you to fall in love with them. They're going to be real gentleman-like, a real lady-like so that you can, they can sway you. They can woo you. They can, you know, sweep you off your feet. Okay. Um, this is how they feel about you, but they aren't settled. The night is in and they're out. You know, they accomplish what they were sent for and then they're moving on. They're under the king's direction also. Um, the moon card, again, they're enemy to you. Hidden enemy, contrary to you. Um, they don't want what you want, but they will act like they will. Um, you both could be polar opposites. You know, this person could be bipolar or this person has mental issues or emotional issues or secrets. They're not going to tell you about them. They just want you to take them at face value, even though there's a lot going on subconsciously, deeply. Um, this is a person who will lie, has lied. They lie to themselves. They lie to other people. This is a person who's just not in a, in a good vibration. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer in, in a Pisces highlighted here. Maybe the dark side of the moon with... Scorpio, I don't know. It could be anybody though. Um, again, you both are really different. One of you could be really wild. The other could be really tamed. You know, um, this card fell on the floor. This is how they uh, feel about you. Yeah, three of pentacles and ten of pentacles. So they feel like they could be in this love relationship, this girlfriend, boyfriend, or uh, sit situationship, whatever it may be forever. They feel like you guys work well together. They feel like they can man manifest a lot of abundance with you. They feel like they also can have some type of great empire with you or long-term stability. You could be dealing with uh, a Capricorn or a Virgo. You could be dealing with the earth sign. This is somebody who is also looking at the long-term. Okay. They're looking at the, the end result. They're looking at what they can have with you, how they can manifest with you. They also feel like maybe being a partner to you, you know, there's going to be a lap of luxury or they're going to marry into money, or there's going to be some type of luxury type of situation, opulence, or they feel like, um, the transference of wealth too. like, um, Oh, you also give them a lot of knowledge. You transfer a lot of knowledge to them. Okay. Uh, wealth is so many different things. If I give you some, some mental gems, you can use them and you can go get money so you can get wealth, right? This person may feel like you say a lot of things that maybe they can turn into money. Uh, this love partner can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles. They feel like, um, with you, they can manifest physical, tangible, real things. They feel like, um, Maybe with you, there is money or you did give them money or there's opportunity to make money. Or again, they feel like they want an opportunity to have sex with you so that they can implant something in you, uh, fertilization, or I don't know, you know, implantation, uh, the knight of swords. So again, this is a person from the past. They are being directed to come towards you. Okay. The ace of pentacles, they feel like, uh, psychologically, you know, you are very aware, you're aware of yourself. They want to be like you. They might even be an energy of maybe, um, kind of, um, if it's not jealousy, it's just envy or, uh, uh, they envy your position. They envy the position that you can take in regards to love. They envy how you can be open, how you can love, how you can turn it off and on when you do not, when it's not reciprocated. They can't do that. They don't know how to let go. They don't know how to give up when someone is not responding or reciprocating. That's why they don't give love because they're afraid of it. Um, they're afraid of how to use it, um, how to control it. Um, 
this person really could, they feel like they could be in some like long-term situationship, sexual situationship, friends with benefits type of relationship with you forever. I don't feel like they feel like they want to marry you. Um, they feel like if they had to propose to you, they would, but um, that's not what they really want to do because I don't see a king or a queen out here. Uh, it's just knights. It's just more so like manipulation. Again, the Knight of Swords talks about being apprehensive about commitment, being un you know unaware or not unaware, but the inability to commit. But it also talks about maybe drawing somebody back with your words or with your action. So it's like, oh, I know you're getting away from me. I know you want to leave me, but let me do this or say this to pull you back in. That's the plan there. After that, you know, that's it. Um, no more, nothing less. Um, let's see. How else does this person feel about uh, the Aquarius? The Five of Swords. This is somebody, again, envy. They, they envy you and they want to win. Okay, so they're looking at love like, well, again, win, lose, draw. It's not a situation of, okay, if we both can't get it together, then we both lose. I lose out on my love, the love of my life, and then I, you lose out on the love of your life, which is me, right? No, they look at it like, oh, you, you're trying to be away from me or get away from me, or you're trying to win, or I'm going to pull you back in and make you su submit, subdue, uh, use all these tactics, mind games, trickery, and then I got you, and then I won. This is an immature person. This is somebody here, um, they've been in a low vibration for far too long. Even if they are older, they've been in low vibration far too long. Um, they don't even know how to give love, how to be loved. Um, it's a false sense of love with them. Even if they ever told you that they do love you, they don't know what it really is because they look at love as a game, a uh, five of swords. Uh, there could be where you haven't talked to this person in a while. You know, there has been some strained communication, like it's been months or weeks or however long, but you guys are not communicating. Uh, there's bad blood between the two of you, um, either, either, you know, spoken or unspoken. Um, that's the underbelly of it all is that somebody is, um, you know, um, I don't know, this is like, I'm getting like a whole bunch of, I'm in, okay, usurp, wanna take your importance or your position by force or illegally. This person also envies you. They're jealous of you. They talk heavy, heavy, big shit about you behind your back. Um, they feel like you're the issue. You're the problem. Um, even if they do come back to you trying to woo you, sway you, they won't tell you this. This is manipulation at its finest. This is, again, this person wants to dominate you. Is this right? I don't know. This was just what I heard. Yeah, four of wands. They want, so they want reunion with you. You guys have to really start looking up these words, reunion, reconciliation, all of those things. You know, if you get the definition of a word and you really start to understand it, you'll understand what people want from you and you won't have miscommunication and misunderstanding of what people want. We we'll want reunion with you. So that means that there's, you know, disharmony or there's no union there. They just want to come back into your presence, back into your life. They don't want to reconcile. When you talk about reconciling to all of my financial people, um, my bookkeepers and my accountants, when you reconcile, you're looking over, you know, uh, documents, records, and you're trying to see uh, where uh, we went wrong or if there is any discrepancy, okay, to make it right. That's not what they want to do. They just want reunion with you. They just want to be back in your presence, okay? They want to have fun with you. They want to celebrate with you and nothing more and nothing less. Yeah, they're kind of in a place of wandering right now. You could be dealing with a Piscean person. So they're in a place of like mentally, emotionally wandering. They could have had options back here and none of these options really fulfill them on the level that you do. So they're taking their power back. They also could be leaving out of self-analysis, you know, like analyzing that maybe they're better than those people that they were dealing with or maybe it was better with you. Um, this is also maybe a soul journey, a soul trip. They tripping now, you know, they gotta go on that soul journey of unknown length. I don't know, maybe they are gonna awaken aware, but that doesn't really involve you. There's only one person in this card. They could be in an energy of, once again, of just wandering. They wanna visit your home, okay? They wanna know where you live. This is also like wandering or wondering about where you live, okay? Where's your home or who you're with or if you're in a relationship. So it's like they're trying to, you know, um, maybe even pick up vibrationally in regards to 
uh, what you're doing or who you're with or where you live or if they can visit because sometimes the eight of cups talks about visitors in your home so they don't want to come visit your home again they could be stalking you if they know where you live they like they're visiting your home whether you know it or not what's let's talk about aquarius money this person is um a mess okay yeah this is how they feel right now they feel like your ex or whomever you you're dealing with is is about to catch a beat down or they'll be, they'll beat up whomever you're dealing with or um the person that they're dealing with feels like they want to beat you up also i'm getting that look look at this old toxic stuff that they want to do um if you find someone new i will ne i will pursue you just to sabotage your new connection again you got this person wondering who you're in a relationship with where you're going and what you're doing and they just want to mess it up for you because they're you know deep down inside envious of you jealous of you okay uh and they'll never admit that and they might not even know it on a conscious level for themselves that they're absolutely jealous of you uh, and this is how they feel they will never let you go you can feel like that's romantic but that's kind of borderline like stalker uh obsession abrasive and, and invasive they're like invading your space games lies and manipulation is all they i have to give okay so that's all they have to give but they feel like you are the most understanding person they've ever met um and and that's it you know um let's see what's going on in your money aquarius i hope that this is bringing you some clarity about what this person wants from you this mercury retrograde we'll do a, a few different readings in regards to people coming back because this is how they feel this is what they want and keep in mind what mercury retrograde mercury being the wing messenger uh, that means that messages are coming fast but it's going backwards so people are thinking about back or past or backwards you know backwards thinking um but think about when it goes direct th then people start thinking about oh the future oh i don't think aquarius uh, needs to be in my future or i don't see them in my future i'm out i'm leaving and that's why people kind of give you the advice of don't start anything especially a love relationship during Mer mercury retrograde um the hangman in your finances so you've made some sacrifice or you're making sacrifices or you, you're cutting off things that you that um aren't going to get you to the goals that you want to get to um you also are doing a lot to earn money um you're just kind of like twisting yourself up in knots at work or you're doing a lot to hold back from spazzing out on somebody at work um the contortionist again just doing a lot to maintain something it's just like you're twisting yourself all up it's like you really just want to come undone yeah you really want to have victory in a, a different setting in a new career you want to take off in a new direction the chariot card is like you're trying to stay focused it looks like you will have victory um you stay focused over your uh emotional and uh, mental uh thoughts uh, uh feelings so that you can move forward so that you can have victory with the chariot card here uh positive movement forward uh, be, you are focused on career and finance. It looks like you've got some short-term goals and you are focused on smashing them, you know, one by one, two by two. Uh, it's like you are uh, really uh, coming up with a plan to move forward. Let's see what else is going on in money, career for Aquarius. It looks like good things, right? Once again, take those negative thoughts and smash them out of your existence. Uh, no shoe is going to drop. You are in a safe place. You've been through hell and back. You're going to get what you want. Nine of cups. You're going to get what you wish for. You're going to get what you think you want and what you've wished for. Um, but you you want to counteract that with the nine of swords. Uh, yeah, the wheel is turning in your favor for you to take a live action movement in something, on something. The universe is aligning things so that you can um, move forward. The wheel of fortune. So that you can fate, destiny. Maybe even serendipitous meetings, being around a different social group, joining a group, networking. Okay, uh, different stream of income coming in for you, Aquarius, the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, wow, several different streams of income. Do your research before you part with your money with the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, make sure you do your research before you part with your money, but you're coming to some absolute truth that maybe you need to get a new stream of income, passive income. 
or that you need to launch something or put something out there. And when you do it, you could have something that could become wildly successful for you. This is commerce, maybe even e-commerce. This could be you waiting for packages so that you can um, send something out or send something off or make something done, you know, get something done, um, putting something out there and just waiting for the return. It looks like it, it is coming to you. It's going to be successful. You're taking the lead on something. You could be showing others. You could be in a leadership role position um, you're showing others the way it's like get behind me follow me i know the way this is really good aquarius uh what else is going on in uh career finance so you're using your gifts aquarius very nice to heal or to help people come up with a plan in regards to their future okay um maybe even guiding people teaching people um teaching people to be consistent learn consistency to teaching people to come out of curse lower vibration maybe in their finances within their career, um, teaching people that you don't have to live below. You don't have to be uh, the tail, you are the head. Um, you could be dealing with a lot of different um, personalities. Uh, you could be in the medical sector or you wanna be doing something medical. It could be holistic health also. Apocryphy, ap apocryphy, that word. Um, yeah, so it's like um, you could be in the medical field. Uh, you could deal with a lot of different personalities. Um, something about maybe um, uh, expansion or you want something to expand or you want to expand people's perspe perspective or their mindset in regards to medical, uh, medical profession, um, getting medical help. It doesn't always need to be that somebody needs to pop a pill. Um, you want to like expand, I don't know, like uh, holistic health. Yeah, uh, the food card. You want to take something in a new direction. You want to need bring a new dynamic to the medical field. Um, and then you have the strength card, uh, other people's money, getting people stronger, better a bill of health. Um, this is large sums of money, maybe even a loan or something coming to you, being strong and waiting for, waiting for the return. Um, guardian angel, also travel for work, money coming in to you, slow and steady. You being a, an authority, a guru, in your field, people coming to you for answers because you care about the outcome. That's why they know they can trust what you say. You could be a lawyer, you could be in the legal profession, or you need to get a, you need to, this, you could be in a counseling type of psychological profession also. Um, don't give up because a big blessing is coming to you, Aquarius. You've been through it all. Hang in there because easier days are coming to you and you're moving away from lack and stay out of lack mentality you're using your gift to be abundant and to create co-create with the universe you're going to get what you want uh, let's see who you're dealing with aquarius all right let's see with the family what's going on with the family tell me about the family Tell me about the family for Aquarius. Family and friend for Aquarius. Family and friend for Aquarius. Soulmate. Okay, so you can have maybe um, like a, a cousin. I'm hearing like a cousin or some, a good cousin or someone like that. You, got, you guys get along very well and you do well together. You feel like they are a soulmate or you feel like they're a soulmate. There could be a, a detaching of soulmate. This could be a karmic soulmate. This could be a family member who was a com karmic soulmate. You have something to learn within this dynamic. Yeah, you have something to learn within this dynamic. Let me see. This person, yeah. So they want to communicate with you. They're waiting for communication from you. This could be a mother also. I don't know why I get that. I, I was getting that. Somebody's waiting for you to reach out. And it's just like... They don't understand why you're so distant. Maybe in a past life, they took you, you for granted or they don't know about your past life or they don't know about your spiritual ranking is what I'm getting. Yeah, they didn't know that you are a true gem. And maybe that's why you put distance between you and this person, maybe within your family. You don't want them to know who you're dating, what you're doing, where you're going, where you live. I don't know. It's like maybe some of you move clear across the the world away from family or you you want to what about this love interest partner ex whomever this person is 
so they feel like you have your freedom. You've gone on. You you have cut them out. You don't want anything to do with them. Uh, they also wanted like a no strings attached type of relationship with you. Um, because they can't have you, they're in a place of being the wallflower. Not they could be in the midst in the midst of a dance floor, in the midst of a party, in the midst of fun times, but they're not really having fun on the inside. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about coming back to you, being around you, what you're doing, who you're doing it with. Um, this is a depressive state that this person is in. What about gossip? They, they may even be trying to figure out what you're doing, asking other people, gossiping about you. When you were with them, they were all talking, no action. They were full of shit completely um there was they were gossiping about you again something about heavy talk negative talk about you making like you were you know the reason um they're thinking about the passionate times with you how they can have some makeup session sex with you to get you back hooked on them one more uh so they were just concerned about themselves it could have been a young female or a younger female they're concerned about you know fashion dressing up music they weren't concerned about having a serious relationship with anyone, especially you Aquarius, or this is how your person came off, male or female, okay? And they also could feel like you're in this energy now, like the energy has transmuted. Maybe you're in the energy of, I don't give a shit, you know, I'm concerned about fashion, hair, myself, spirit, whatever. I'm not concerned about the relationship anymore. Let's see what's going on for a uh, career and money for Aquarius. What do we have? Dating. Okay, so you might date somebody that's going to give you some money or you might get out here and meet someone that will give you some opportunity. It could be um, maybe somebody has had their heart broke before. Uh, they're in a place of trying to heal. Uh, you also could have been dating and your money. We saw that earlier. Your money situation was messed up. You were dating the wrong person, um, a past lover. So you broke up with them. Uh, you're trying to heal your money situation also. Let's see. Yeah, blonde female. You were, uh, unbeknownst to you, maybe you even had magic done in regards to your money. Someone trying to bind you or uh, stop your money flow or twin flame. It could have been a twin flame. Someone that you uh, were, are in, a con in connection with, in cahoots with. It just seemed like this person was trying to bind you. They was trying to do anything to make you come back to them. You know, if I can mess up the Aquarius money so that this person can reach, so the Aquarius can reach out to me um, and tell me how they need me or they need money, then I'll do that. It's like you had a twin flame also coming against your money. A dark male, somebody with darker skin, and somebody into dark magic again in the dark. It fell out of the deck. Someone who was acting like they wanted to court you or they were courting you, um, but they were also coming against you too. The universe brought this person into your life for the short term so you could figure out what it is you do not deserve. It was just fun times and that's all it was. And you've come to a determination of that. Even though you may have wasted a lot of time and money on this person or with this person, it could have been a mature male, somebody who's going bald, gray hair, has already been married, uh, wrinkles in the forehead. I don't know. Um, they could have been affecting your work or your work cycle. They wanted you to go into business with them, but they were also dealing with somebody else that was just fun times. It was for the short term. This person was... They was going to fuck your money up. Oh, okay, made up. And then money came out. They was going to mess your money up. They was going to mess up your platform or what you were doing or how you just having it your way, you know? Um, this is what they did or what they intended to do. Let's get some advice for Aquarius and close out. Well, they said they want you to know what this person wants to say to you. What does the family want to say to Aquarius? What does the family want to say to Aquarius? Um, they know that they were not there for you, okay? Um, that somebody was immature. They treated you, you know, Im immature. They did something immature. Could have been a feminine. Could be the mother. And they don't understand why you're not reaching out, not texting. You know, maybe you used to. Again, we had communication come out for the family. It's like somebody's waiting for your communication, we get some cards that fell onto the floor. So it looks like family or friends want to reach. They really want to tell you something. This could be a feminine. Now they could be seeing things rationally. Irrational came out in reverse. Uh, I can't and I don't take you serious shrug. So they could be telling you they don't take you serious. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what that's about. I'm going to look into that. Something is broken or somebody's broken. 
um, or someone knows that they've broken your trust, you can't trust them. Um, someone, they're not taking the fact that you're done with them serious or you're, you're done with this family or family member. Trust is broken. The bond is broken. Money cords are broken. Everything is broken. It, um, the family or friends want to tell you that maybe, oh, somebody broke your trust also, maybe in a friend group. Okay, you know that they were talking about you behind your back. Uh, they feel like maybe you make irrational, or now you're making irrational decisions, but they're not involved in it. You say things, oh, they feel like you say, they can't take your word serious. Like you'll say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to come to Sunday dinner, or yeah, I'll hang out, you know, this Saturday with you. But you have... Your, the bond has been broken so much to the point where you feel like you don't even need to explain yourself if you don't show up or you do, you know, you give them the courtesy of, okay, I'm not going to come and you don't give them an explanation. They don't take anything that you say serious anymore because um, they used to could bank on you, maybe even make bank on you, you know, or they could bank on Oh, the, Aquari the Aquarius will do, Aquarius will give, Aquarius will buy, Aquarius will, and maybe it's just not like that anymore. Something is broken. The bond is broken. The curse is broken. Ding dong, the witch is dead. I don't know. Let's see what's going on uh, for what this person, love, partner, wants to tell you, ex, whomever you come to. So they get fired up about you. They get fiery. They get mad about the fact that you are done or you put distance between you and them, um, that you're being strong, okay? Um, you're not giving in. You're not conceding. You won't. You will not. The, the growth has happened with you. Wow. Um, they want to tell you that you are their sunshine, okay? And they understand that you've come out of being stuck on them. What else does this person want to tell you, Aquarius? This one to come out. Something isn't. Because we got is in reverse, isn't hidden or isn't bearded. Oh, maybe you figured out that they stalking you or studying you or asking about you. It isn't hidden that you're studying me or you're stalking me. I know it now. Or that you are envious of me. Something about that. Something is coming out. A secret has come out or something that someone's trying to keep secret. Um, they want to tell you that they know they were unkind to you or you were unkind to them or it was both um, sex with my friend or that maybe um, their person, the person they were dealing with had sex with their friend. Someone that they chose over you had sex with their friend or they had a sex with your friend or they were calling people their friend, but they were having sex with them. Crazy. Uh, what is this person? Yeah, they want to tell you that they're seeing things rational now. You know, and they want to make some quick action to you to recover the relationship, to have an anniversary, to celebrate with you. Yeah, right. Uh, last card for what this person wants to tell the Aquarius. They feel like it's unfair that how you're doing them, but they treated you unfair also. Okay, let's see what's going on in Aquarius money. Aquarius money. Someone is bothered by maybe you shining. But everything that they're doing is all talk and no action. Or they're putting something out there to the universe, but it's all talk, no action. Dead in the water. It's not penetrating you. Engagement ring. Someone is seeing you as uh, the bag or the come up. Or they're seeing you as somebody that they want to partner with because, um, again, you're out here. You're the beauty queen. You're shining. You're having life on your own terms, having it your way. Yeah, they're, they're seeing that you're deserving of this or that maybe they should have uh, made a commitment to you or they should have gone into business with you with the engagement ring. Yeah, they were in love with two people. Help. Um, they may have come out of that. Uh, money is holding them back. Uh, but this is your money, Aquarius. Some of you want to go after maybe having your own business or doing something for yourself. Money is holding you back and you also have a job, a nine to five. So it's like you're trying to do two different things. So have your own business and have a nine to five. Keep making promises to yourself that you're going to actually do this. 
but it's only giving you gray hair and you're getting very stressed about how you can actually do both. Maybe by Valentine's Day, something new, you're trying to get something established so that you can have legacy, something to pass on to your family. You're coming out of addictive behaviors in terms of money and money spending. You're coming out of putting others before your goals, your aspirations and money. This is good. What else is going on for Aquarius? You're questioning certain things and you're seeing through, you know, so you're seeing clearly about maybe your money and you're seeing clearly that you need to go ahead and do something is a yes answer. Okay. You need to put boundaries up maybe in regards to work, working late, working overtime. You need to take some time to work for yourself, work on yourself, invest in self, go back to school, go to a class, get mentorship. I don't know. Can't make it up. Something about business. You want your business to be legitimate and not illegal or um, you could be involved in like maybe getting paid under the table or you don't have all of the paperwork to start a business here. So it would be kind of like illegal. Again, money could be holding you back. You want to retire from this job that you've been on forever. Let's get you some advice, Aquarius. You want to retire from doing something that you've done forever. You, you're just despondent with it right now. It's just no, you, it's just, you're unhappy with it. It's no fulfillment. Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius moving forward. Whoa, that card popped up. Page of Wands, explore, get out there, put yourself out there, get a makeover. I heard red hair. Maybe you're going to dye your hair red or some type of red. Um, explore, makeover, promotion, promote yourself, promote your business, promote what it is you do. Some of you have come out of a tough time, a tough season. Protect yourself at all costs because there could be somebody trying to sell you a dream, family, friend, and they're trying to have action with you or take action in regards to you. Maybe implantation, fertilization. I don't know. Yeah. Page of one, page of pentacles. <laughs> Mine went blank. This person, so what this reads as. When you got these pages here, false start, um, a start with no progression. So something that you'll start with somebody goes nowhere. They're trying to, you know, engage in mastery and trickery to get you to come back with the two sevens there. 77 could be significant again. It's like maybe somebody even could be trying to come to you and apologize, have some makeup session with you, makeup sex with you, um, sell you a dream, have this new start that goes nowhere, no progression. And, and it's just another false start, you know, just empty promises, uh, just words. And that's what the advice is here. If you believe that somebody is going to be better or do better, no. Justice card. The best thing for you to do is understand cause and effect, karma. Maybe you leave in someone's life or you, you, you deciding to do the right thing for yourself um, cause for the downward spiral, spiral of someone, the will of fortune. There could be a transition, a change of the guards, a change of uh, wealth here. You could be coming in or getting ushered into having more and now somebody else is having less. You have the queen of pentacles. You've come into understanding who you are, your worth, your wealth. You're fertile, you, you are a good uh, catch, you are attractive, you have a lot to offer, you want a more committed relationship, and you're leaving something behind, you're following your heart's dream. Yeah, so that's what the, it's the advice is, you need to leave something behind, something is changing. Yeah, this person was a soulmate and so forth and blah, 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 but you know, what does it matter if they're not gonna do right? I mean, are you gonna strive with them forever? You gotta let you gotta have a, a 
You gotta have a, a, a end game, a turning point, a, a, a point when you will cut it off. You know, you can't do this forever. You get a self analysis, walking away out of self respect. You need to walk away from something, even if this person is trying to persuade you to stay, gift you, woo you, sway you, take you out, invite you somewhere. By I don't know. You just need to know that. Again, all these false starts, you got no kings coming out. Somebody from your past, it is Mercury retrograde. They're in a low place and they want you to take them out of that place. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below the $50 10 minute video or phone zoom reading reading is extended. It's 50 bucks. So take advantage. Can't beat it with a stick. All right. Uh, this Jupiter, you are expanding, expanding right now. Aquarius, um, your dreams are coming true. The spirit is working with you too. God is working with you. There's a God component about you and therefore you're getting what you want. Um, your dreams are becoming real, made true, empowerment, moving forward, expansion, you know. Um, you sacrificed a lot. You were self-sacrificing, yeah, um, in some relationship. And now you're about to establish yourself, be rooted and grounded, maybe even in family. So you had where you were sacrificing in relationship and with family. It's like people were just really usurping, just really taking from you. Saturn, now you come to a place of understanding, Aquarius. I love it. Wisdom, discipline, responsibility, a test, difficulty. You understanding why you were in that difficulty, okay? That difficult place, you know, um, you know, a trying time, you know, builds character. Endurance builds character. You endured. You saw it through. You built character. You should have wisdom now. You've already been through something. Don't allow something to... Um, don't allow the same situation to come back and you you allow the same old bullshit to happen to you again or them to do it to you again, whether it be family, friend, or love, partner. All right? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Get your personal reading. Thank you. Many blessings to you again. Uh, shout out to all of the states and countries where I have high viewership. Um Go ahead, the readings are on sale. The link is below. I'll link it at the top of the comment section. The sale readings. Um, yeah, that's what I have. Thank you, take care guys.